And Jamin is right here. It is so good to see you. Thank I can't you. believe that was four years ago. I know, time flies. It's gone by <laughs> in a flash. And Nicole is back, of course, yes. from the X Factor. X Factor's got its mojo back, I think, this year. Don't I think you? that pairing of the all those judges is brilliant. It works, doesn't it? It really works. Are you still in touch with her? Do you still? Yes, keep more in so touch? than anyone, really, Nicole, I keep in touch with. Yeah. She's a sweetheart. She was a really good mentor. <laughs> Second album, this is a yes. really important one for you, isn't it? You put yes, because your... I've written a lot on this one. You have. You put your heart and soul into it. It. Now, I'm going to try and get it right. It's unfathomable, unfathomable phantasmagoria. Yes. Was that near enough? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why that title? Well, I've had it since I was about 13, like scribbling on my books. That and was I just what wanted it was to keep it. Because I'm a poet as well, and I want to get a book out at some point, so hopefully that kind of oh. reflects the artist that I'm trying to be. <laughs> oh, no, that makes perfect sense. It really does. Now, the songs that you're writing, things that are very important to you, but I know mm -hmm. that you've worked with some incredible people as well. Yes, one of my dreams was um, Diane Warren with a song I Wish. She's one of those people that you just really dream to work sure. with. Did she not work with like, so Whitney Houston and people like that? Like I mean, everyone. Her, her really... wall of plaques are just is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> so she was the person you really wanted to work with. And did yes. that, was it as good as you thought it would be? It was weird. I just tweeted her and she said, come over. Wow. I did. Is that how it worked? <laughs> well, Immediately in 2016. Everybody... <laughs> That's fantastic. That's really good. And also Samuel L. Jackson. Now, yes. you, you met him and the two of you just clicked. Yes. And he's on, he's on the single, is he? Yes, I, I've, I've been supporting his charity, One for the Boys, for a long time now. And I've just had him on the album reading the scripture. And I think that's the best way to get people to listen to wow. scripture is his so voice. He's, he's, <laughs> he introduces the song? Yes, so he's on the intro of the album and the intro to the single. <laughs> I mean, do you just kind of like phone up Samuel L. Jackson and say, do you know what, could you just pop into the studio and do this for me, thanks very really much? Quick. And then he toddles off, <laughs> then he does it. Just does his job and leaves. <laughs> and he did it for free as well. That's brilliant. Which is a blessing, I can't complain. <laughs> no, not at all. Are you happy with the album? You're happy yes. with everything that's the way it's, it's taken out? three years to make. So. I have to ask you about your mum. How's your mum doing? Because obviously we had yes. our own horrific um, abuse that she suffered, absolutely mm. awful at the hands of your dad. And the way that she's overcome that, her book was remarkable. And I know the two of you are very close. And obviously you help her with her charity work as well. Definitely, um, with the Women's Aid. And it's just really, she's done a lot with the Archers recently as well. That's right, the, with that storyline, of yes, course. Yes, and she helps um, talk with the actors to... It's brilliant. Do you call them actors when they're on radio? <laughs> yeah, they are still, aren't yes. they? You just don't see them, it's fine. They don't have to get all dressed mm. up. It must be wonderful. <laughs> But her, books, her book's been doing really well. The feedback's been great for yeah. her book. Oh, she was a remarkable guest, a remarkable <laughs> lady to talk to. And the thing about you is, and in a way, it will... It's very sad that you've been through what you've had to go through, and, and does that make you better at what you do? Um, I think you just can't let a bad situation define who you are. Mm. And if anything, it's shaped me into being who I am now. Yeah. So I don't... I wouldn't take anything back. I know everything was horrific, but God has a purpose in everything. So yeah. hopefully, and it sort of made you the person that you are. Mm. And I can uplift other people going through the same thing. Hopefully, with the music. Exactly, that's what it's all about. And I, and I do think that, Jamie, because I think people who who see you and see what you've achieved mm. and how much you've gone through, and and you've been very open as well. You know, you've said that you've, you know, you you had terrible depression and you did have suicidal thoughts, and it was very very hard. Mm. And yet, you have somehow got out of that. Yeah, I think it's really dishonest if you're in the public eye to say that everything's okay and just make yourself look everything's perfect. Yeah. I think it's good to be honest that I am struggling daily. It is a like suicide is a thing that you struggle with daily. You have to work on it daily. Sure. And I'm just trying to be honest with that journey to help people going through the same thing. And it just shows you that even someone like yourself who's very talented, who's doing so well, <laughs> you can phone up Samuel and Jackson, you. <laughs> you know, all of that, but still it's hard, you know, it's not easy. Mm. You still have these Because my foundations are built on abuse and I have to pick that apart. Yeah. And hopefully that comes across in the music that the strength is there and the love is there. I'm just trying to get that across. Well, it makes the music much more profound and it means a lot more as well. I mean, that's hopefully. the thing about your yes. songs as well. People <laughs> have said that, you know, I know you're, you're fancy that. I follow you on Twitter and you can see that how much it means to them. You know, it, it actually, you know, they listen to your music and they feel they feel better. I or they really hope so. With you, which, is, which is great. It's out today. Yes. Yeah. Excited. <laughs> Very excited. I'm nervous and excited. But that's a good way to I'm be. Because I'm finally releasing things that I've kept secret for like and that three are so, years. So 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 important to you. So important yes. to you. Unfathomable. Phantasmagoria. Phantasmagoria. <laughs> or up good for luck short. With that. Up for short. You be up for short. And yes. and is this the time is going to be the single as well? Yes. Come back next time. Come back and perform for us. Definitely. I'd love that. Duet maybe. No. <laughs> no. 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 We just want to hear your beautiful voice. Thank you so much. Thank indeed you for, for having me. In. Great to see you. <laughs> if you'd like to see even more great guests, then click here.
There are plenty more fantastic interviews to come, so make sure that you subscribe.